Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Jerry with 3DHP and I've got another cool video on a Uniformation GK2 8K resin printer. And TigCag has been wanting me to review their resin. So they sent me out two large bottles, a thousand grams each of their gray resin. And we're going to be printing some really cool stuff today from a few Patreons that I deal with. And uh, let me jump right into the slicer, show you some pictures, show you a time lapse, and then we'll talk about the print. So that's what's happening in this video, so please stick around right after this. Here's how we resin, resin lapse on the Uniformation GK2 8K resin printer. I got my new Canon camera and my SL3. I got my cord from Andrew Sink and Uncle Jesse, my resin lapse cord. It's plugged in. We're making the thing from Fantastic Four. Hear it click? It's going to do that like three or four thousand times. And when we're done, here's what you're going to see. As I mentioned earlier, that's a 75% scale. And one thing nice about this build platform, it's got a little lip right here. If you have a lip that's running, that's running off the edges, this lip right here will catch it. Unless it's a great deal, then it'll spill over, but it's pretty cool. We'll get the support stripped off and get it cleaned and on to the next one. The Thing by Wicked on my new GK2 8K resin printer.
Hey guys, let's talk about some prints I got done here on the Uniformation GK2 AK resin printer. Okay, first off from uh, Wicked Patreon, we have The Thing, Ben Grimm from the Fantastic Four, and this is fan art, and uh, he was printed at 75% scale, I shrunk him down a little bit, the base was done in one piece, as you can see I've hollowed it, I hollow it 3 millimeters thick, which I may start changing in the future since I think I'm going a little bit too thick on that. That had some weight to it. And then the actual thing himself here was all done in one piece. He just barely fits in the printer the way he shaped on the GK2, but he came out amazing. Take a look at that quality there. Now between a 4K printer like my Anticubic or an 8K, I personally can't see a quality difference. I'm sure there is. But I don't really notice the difference. I mean, my 4K printer does amazing prints. And this is an 8K and it's supposed to be doing higher resolution. But I guess that all comes down to the designer and how well a sculptor sculpted a model. I, I really don't know. But it, either way, it came out amazing. It looks great. And uh, once he gets primed and uh, painted, he, he'll look awesome. And this was done with the uh, Tic Tac Red Gray resin they sent me. They sent me out two large bottles to try out and review. And once using it, I had another model that I was slide that I was slicing and printing, and I had a few fails. I mean, the model was getting sliced funny. There was a couple pre-supported files, and I couldn't figure out why I was having trouble. So I stopped what I was doing with that model because I was wasting way too much resin. Or I paid for two more bottles myself off Amazon to help make up for the resin that I lost. And I don't want to, uh, you know, the company send me more. Uh, they sent me two out to review with, and then if I screw up a couple models and burn up part of a bottle, well, that's on me as far as I'm concerned. So I ordered some more resin, and uh, I got this done. And then I moved on to uh, Sanix's Patreon. And like I say, there'll be links in the description below. This is Wakanda, um, the model from Wakanda. She came out amazing. And I don't have her glued onto the base, so I have to uh, paint it. And let's see, right around in here, up to here was the maximum height I could get for that shape on this printer. So I had to cut off these tips in that pad. You can kind of see them. I've got to do a little putty work on them, a little sanding. I had to cut the top of the spears off. But this has also been hollowed three millimeters thick. Two drain holes there in the bottom. And uh, yeah, this is a gray resin from uh, Tic Tac. But yeah, it printed out really well. There was no big odors or any problems I had with the resin other than I had some problems with some of the sliced models. And, I, you know, I've done a handful of prints. I don't know if you can see them up there on the shelf. If I can tip the camera up. You know, I've got a bunch of different prints that I've done up here with this resin printer and I've moved on to these. And believe it or not, I finally had to change my FEP. My NFAP, FEP, whatever you want to call it, and then my screen protector had a big stain right in the middle of it. So somewhere along the way, I got a pinhole in my FEP, which made a real small stain on the top of the LCD, the protective covering. It's on the LCD, and I tried to scrape it off real carefully, and that only worked so well. I couldn't clean it, so I had to replace uh, FEP and uh, screen protector, so I'll have to buy more. Yeah, usually these those last me a very long time until I have to uh, replace them. And when I got off this resin from Tic Tac, one thing I noticed as with most resins, not that grip there on the side, but the bottle itself just felt kind of greasy. It was in a, closed in a box, it came in a plain old box, which it doesn't need to be nothing fancy, that's just more overhead for a company. It was wrapped in foam, or bubble wrap around it, and then underneath the cap, it had a protective seal, had a locking ring, and then a foil protective seal, as you can see there. So I'm not sure where the residue on the outside of the bottle came from, but typically most bottles are spotlessly clean on the outside and this one had a little bit of residue. Not sure if it was from the resin or what it was from. So when you get these, you might want to handle them wearing gloves, just to be better safe than sorry. And I'll wash my hands here in a minute since I touched it. And one thing I haven't mentioned, the Uniformation GK2, it is a metal case. This silver you see all the way around it, that is metal. I haven't put a magnet on it to see if it's aluminum or aluminium, depending on where you live at. But yes, yeah, definitely got a metal case. I managed to hook up my uh, resin latch cord to my cannon. I had to loosen a screw in the front and on the bottom and go through a side panel. I put a little piece of wood in there for my laser engravers to keep it spread open just a hair so that I could run the light in. 
the sensor in so that it would activate my camera. And in all my previous time lapses, I always have the cover off the anti-cubic. Well, this one I left the cover down because then as an active heated chamber, depending on your ambient temperature in your air, it will maintain around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So I wanted those heaters to work if needed, so I left the cover down on the time lapse. That's why you've seen it. And I didn't show all my curing process because some of the parts were too big to fit in my wash and cure station. So I took them out in the sun. And then I have the portable UV light, you know, it's rectangular, and I set them up in my uh, photo booth, and I've done a little bit of work in there. But the models came out beautiful. The printer done great. Had no real issues with it other than I had some slicing problems, but not sure why that happened. It's pretty rare that happens. But, uh, you know, maybe it's because of the stain on the screen. Maybe I already, already had that stain at that time, and that caused it to uh, screw up. But anyway, they came out great. They're done. I've been under the weather for almost a week, so this video is coming out later in the light. I've been having some stomach issues. Uh, no, I don't have COVID. I've never caught that yet. But the models came out beautiful. Many more videos to come. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I'd really appreciate it. And down below in the description, I'll have a link to Wicked's Patreon where you can check out a model like this. They have all four of these from the Fantastic Four. They got so many great models. They're great. Gabriel, Gabriel and his uh, partner, they're, they're, they got a great team over there. They do beautiful work. And like I say, the link to their Patreon will be down below. Same with Sanix. Sanix's Patreon will be listed down below. And uh, yeah, Wakanda Forever. Yeah, it came out great. Amazing model. So, like I said, a few little things broke here on me, and I had to fix them together and glue them back together, but that happens when you deal with small parts. But, yeah, they came out wonderful. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear your comments and questions. And you have an awesome day, guys, and a happy resin printing. Later.